In this video, I'm going to go over the top 10 stocks with the highest short interest. So in this order, this is how it lists. Bi Bicycle Therapeutics at number one. Balriel Group, ticker Bowl at number two. Novax at three. Theravance Biopharma at four. Fisker at five. Carvana at six. Biomia Fusion at seven. C3AI at eight. iPoint Pharmaceuticals at nine. And Beyond Meat at number 10. So I'll go in descending order here. I'll start off with Beyond Meat. So Beyond Meat has 37% of the float sold short, which is roughly um, you know a major chunk of, of the float, obviously. But we also have roughly 14 days to cover. For those that don't know, days to cover just is a signal of a high likelihood of a short squeeze is when days to cover is over 10. So we're at 13 here or 13 and a half um, for days to cover, which signals to me that this stock has a very high likelihood of a short squeeze. And then when we go into the other short interest metrics, we can see that the company has a short borrow fee rate of 29%. The average short borrow fee rate is anywhere from 0.3 to 3%. So definitely signaling that it is quite expensive to short the stock. This short borrow fee rate is just um, you know what investors are charging short sellers to lend out their stocks. Um, so definitely signaling that it's quite expensive to short the stock at this point in time. And in terms of failure to deliver numbers, they're really not that significant. For those that don't know, this failure to deliver number basically just means that um, the short seller is failing to deliver the shares back to the original investor. And this simply means within the, within the next 60 days, we need to see 43,000 shares bought or the SEC will come after those short sellers. And then iPoint Pharmaceuticals. So iPoint Pharma Pharmaceuticals has 37% of the float sold short. Very super similar numbers to Beyond Meat. And they have 13 days to cover, 13 and a half days to cover. So another number, 13, is above that 10 threshold for days to cover. So that's signaling a high likelihood of a short squeeze. For those that don't know, this basically just tells you that it takes 13 and a half days of average volume to cover the shares that are sold short. And then it's also worth noting that the short borrow fee rate isn't really high though, so it's not really expensive to short the stock at this point in time. And then in terms of failing to deliver numbers, so failing to deliver numbers are actually at 12 month highs. Um, so in terms of failing to deliver, we've definitely seen a massive jump there. And like I said, all this means is that within the next 60 days, there has to be 11,000 shares bought by short sellers to actually de deliver back shares to the original investor or the SEC will come after them. So once again, in the next 60 days, there will be 11,000 shares bought for EYPT. And then C3AI here, so 40% of the float roughly is sold short, which is about seven and a half days to cover. Um, so below that 10 um, threshold for days to cover that typically signals a short squeeze. So but still almost 40% of the float is sold short. And we do have a short borrow fee rate of 7.6 right now. For those that don't know, the average short borrow fee rate is anywhere from 0.3 to 3%. So the the, the fact that investors are re requiring a seven plus per annual um, fee to lend out their shares definitely does signal that this stock is quite expensive to short. And then let's take a look at the failure to deliver numbers for C3AI. So C3AI has actually seen its failure to deliver numbers drop over the past couple months. Um, but for, for those that don't know, all this 101,000 number means is that in the next 60 days, there will be 101,000 shares bought by short sellers to cover um, their failing to deliver um, uh stock. So in the next 60 days, 101,000 shares must be bought or the SEC will come after short sellers. And then for uh, Biomia Fusion here, we have 21 days to cover. This is the highest days to cover number that we've seen so far. Um, so for, for those that don't know, this basically means that it takes 21 days of average volume to cover the shares that are sold short. Like I said, we need a 
10, a number over 10 to signify a high likelihood of short squeeze. We have 43% of the float sold short as well, which is definitely nothing to sneeze at. And it's also worth noting that Fintel's own internal system, which grades every single stock, um, they actually rank this stock at in the top two percent of stocks with the with the with a high likelihood of a short squeeze. And then it's also worth noting that short borrow fee rate is quite low, only at one percent, right in that average range. And then um, failing to deliver numbers here, nothing really significant. Only twenty five hundred shares failed to deliver in August. And then for can uh, for Car- Carvana here, excuse me. So Carvana is has been a name that's been talked about a lot amongst the retail community, and it's the the short interest as a percent of float is forty four percent of the float is sold short at this point in time, which equals out to about five days to cover. So that means it takes five days of average volume to cover the shares that are sold short. It's also worth noting that this stock is within the top 10% of stocks in terms of short squeeze likelihood. According to Fintel, it ranks out as 411 out of 4,400. Um, and then short borrow fee rate is quite low here as well. And then in terms of failing to deliver for Carvana, so we can see here that the, the, their failure to the deliver numbers have come down drastically. In fact, we're actually at 12-month lows for failing to deliver deliver so right now over the next 12 actually over the next 60 days there only is going to be a forced buying of 29,000 shares by short sellers so nothing really super significant there in terms of failing to deliver numbers and then with that being said let's go into Fisker so Fisker is obviously a stock that's been moving lower over the past couple weeks unfortunately um but let's take a look at the short interest. So the stock was down 4% today. We do have 44% of the float sold short, and we have 10 days to cover. So for those that don't know, like I've been saying, this basically just means that it takes 10 days of average volume to cover the shares that are sold short. And this is a, um, anytime you have a, a days to cover number around 10, it signals that a stock is at a high likelihood to have a short squeeze. And I also want to know that there aren't many short shares available. So just yesterday, we had about 300,000 shares available to be shorted. Right now, we only have 1,500, and it was briefly actually zero at the start of today's trading session. So definitely not many shares to be shorted. Also, the short borrow fee rate is 88%, so that's the highest short borrow fee rate that we've covered so far. And like I said, the average short borrow fee rate is anywhere from 03 to 3%. So the fact that we're up at 88%, and this has really risen over the past three days, signals that it's becoming more and more expensive to short the stock. Um, so it was just 100% yesterday and 150% the day before, signaling that it's really expensive to short the stock as there are not many shares available to be shorted. So it's becoming more and more expensive to short the stock. The higher this this short borrow fee rate is, the more likely a stock is to have a short squeeze. And then in terms of failure to deliver numbers, we're actually at three-month highs. So we're above where we were in June and July. We have 800, actually, 618,000 shares that are failing to deliver. And that basically means within the next 60 days, the, um, the short sellers must buy 618,000 shares to cover their failing to deliver stock um, or the SEC will come after them. So in conclusion, 618,000 shares must be bought by short sellers within the next 60 days or the SEC will come after those short sellers. And then in terms of um, short interest ratio for Theravance Biopharma, we have 23 days to cover and 46% of the float is sold short. And this is another stock which is ranked very highly in terms of short squeeze likelihood by Fintel. In fact, this stock was is in is within the, the top 3% of stocks with the, with the highest likelihood of a short squeeze, ranking out at 120 um, out of 4,400. And this short borrow fee rate, though, isn't si- isn't signaling that the stock is expensive to short at this point in time. And then uh, failing to deliver shares really is nothing significant here. Only 5,700 um, 
shares will be bought um, o- over the next 60 days. And then 54% of the float is sold short for Novavax here. We've been talking about Novavax actually for a while on this channel. And um, short interest ratio is at about 4 for Novavax. Um, so nothing too si- significant there in terms of short um, interest ratio. But it, it is worth noting that over half of the float is sold short. And it's very expensive to short the stock as well, which is an- another signal of a short squeeze. The average range, once again, is from 03 to 3%. So to, to be up at 26% definitely signals that it's expensive to short the stock. And we've also seen the sh- shares available to be shorted have come down drastically over the past day. So we had 100,000 shares available to be shorted just yesterday. Right now, we only have 15,000 shares available to be shorted. And then it's also worth noting that we have um, a, seen a jump in failure to deliver numbers in August. So we went from 43,000 to 121,000. As I've been saying, this number basically just means over the next 60 trading days, or excuse me, over the next 60 calendar days, actually, there must be 121,000 shares bought by short sellers to cover their failing to deliver shares. And then let's take a look at the number two um, stock in terms of short interest. We have a 66% of the float is sold short right now. And we have roughly 10 days to cover here. So 10 being that kind of, um, you know, yardstick in terms of a a stock with a high likelihood of a short squeeze. All this means is that um, it it would take 9.3 days of average volume to cover the shares that are short are sold short and according to fintel this is the seventh most likely stock to have a short squeeze in the entire market um so good to see there that that fintel is kind of agreeing with us here and also there are zero shares available to be shorted right now for this stock which um leads me right into the short borrow fee rate of 71 percent which is drastically jumped over the past couple days like I've been saying, the average short borrow fee rate is anywhere from 0.3 to 3%. So to be up at 71% is definitely signaling that it's quite expensive to short this stock. And then in terms of failing to d- deliver here, nothing super special. Um, only 13,000 shares will have to be bought by short sellers over the next 60 days to cover their failing to deliver stock. And then let's take a look at the number one short interest stock. It is Bicycle Therapeutics, which has 240% of the float sold short, which also equals out to 18 days to cover here. Um, So definitely signaling a high likelihood of a short squeeze for this stock. You know, you have 240% of the float sold short. Definitely nothing to sneeze at here. It's also worth noting that the short borrow fee rate isn't too high, so it's not really even expensive for short sellers to short the stock and then in terms of failing to deliver numbers here nothing special again Um, you know seeing um, 2400 shares failing to deliver so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video covered a lot um i would really appreciate if you left a like and subscribe to this channel I, i put a lot of work into these videos and would appreciate it if you could show some love there so With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will end it there. Looking to learn more about the financial markets? Well, I just released a new course that will teach you everything you need to know about the stock market. You can find that at happyinvestingtoday.com. Also on the site, you can purchase one-on-one coaching sessions where I will break down your portfolio and to better assist traders when searching for setups, I'm selling trading bots, which will tell you how your trading strategy has performed historically on a stock, crypto, or currency that you are researching. If you would also like to see what me and my experienced trading team are doing on a day-to-day basis, join our Discord, which is linked below, for a free seven-day trial. With that being said, please leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you watching this video.